Does your mama know you dance like that? <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm BBXH and I'm here the second time with Bren Chong. How are you, Bren Chong? Hello, I'm okay. Doing okay? Yeah. This is our second interview. Our first interview was way back in TwitchCon 2016. Yeah. So we want to kind of do a refresher for you guys and catch you up with Bren, see what he's been up to and what to look forward to. Okay? Okay. All right, so we, should we jump into it? Yeah, sure. All right, here we go. Question number one. Bren, who has inspired you the most in life and why? Hmm. Inspired me most? Yeah. Well, I think my father inspired me most because it's from him that I learned from his beginning which I, I experienced mm -hmm. and to his uh, life journey challenges and how he solved it. Okay, of, of course, I learned a lot from other people, but from reading and from the stories of other people, but the, the person who inspired me most is my father. Father, okay, very cool. And I mean, you've made quite a success for yourself. For yourself. What are some of the sacrifices that you've had to make to be as successful as you are? Hmm. Actually, everything takes time. There's no shortcut mm -hmm. to success. All success, they have to face problems. You have not to be scared of the challenges and you face them head on. And I really don't see myself as successful as the really? way other people see me. Yeah, uh -huh. because the way I see it, I'm like growing and there's a lot more that I need to learn because the world is changing fast, uh, technology is changing fast, and as soon as you don't uh, recognize that you didn't adapt to the changes, uh, you'll get left out. So it's kind of like you have to do your assignment, your homework every day. You have to read, you have to talk mm -hmm. to people, you have to research, and you have to try. So that's the success that we see is like because i'm doing my homework or my okay. every day every day to make myself uh, more knowledgeable than yesterday got you now you you said that you don't see yourself as successful as other people see you but i mean every but there's so many people out there that look up to you as a role model or they see you in the gaming world and they look up to you i mean one of the most comments that we got on our last video that you and I did was people were asking, why does Bren invest so much into these video games? Can you kind of explain to people so they can understand? Oh, video games. At first, because you want to try the games, mm -hmm. you want to see how the developer made the game and why the, the customer will uh, like the game get hooked to it okay. of course it's part of learning also because i have a production house that we make also games mm -hmm. so i have to learn also what kind of uh what kind of features what kind of uh hook that they they make for for customer to keep coming back and to keep playing and aside from that i really have to say that those game that made that has a clan Clan chat, group chat, community chat uh -huh. are really great help to the world. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Like, for example, Supercell, the Clash Royale, and yeah. they made the clan chat. Those those games, I really applaud them. It's okay. like a good job because people are being closer. We know each other because from that game, from that community. Otherwise, you just know your neighbors. <laughs> and you just, I just know the people from school. But with this game and this kind of feature, you get to know people all over the world. It's a great help to the world. That's true. I mean, definitely an example of that is like Lords Mobile because they had that whole global chat in there where you could talk to everybody. You got a lot of love from the Lords Mobile community yeah. on the YouTube. First, the <laughs> first time I, I, I told you that the Lords Mobile, was, I was just trying it. But now it's a great game because I met a lot of people from Lords Mobile also. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, you and I met through playing video games. So, yeah. I mean, it's a true testament of you can truly make new friends yeah. through playing games nowadays. Yes. So tell us, what games are you currently playing? Well, I play Hearthstone because from time to time they uh, come out with a good uh, patch or yeah. a good good expansion. Mm -hmm. and it's really good. Uh, Lineage 2. I, oh, I, yeah. I, I play Lineage 2. Okay. And I think I play uh, Tides of War, the Disney one. Okay. Disney? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Disney put up Tides of War. It's a, it's a good game also. Uh, 
I, of course, Clash Royale, I yep. play, and I think that's most about it. Lords okay. Mobile, yeah. Okay, play. so playing Lords Mobile, very good. I mean, it's crazy to think that you actually even have time to play these video games. So, can you walk us through kind of an everyday in the life of Bren Chong? What do you do in a day? Well, of course, there are some days that I have a specific meeting, but mm -hmm. generally, my day would be when I wake up, I would uh, check my phone, check the messages. Same. <laughs> so if there's an important message, mm -hmm. I could reply back to the businesses. Then I would uh, shower and, and fix myself to get ready to work. Good, thank but goodness. <laughs> then before I, before I work, of course, I will open the games, the chess, you know, oh, the, yeah. the time yep. that, that you need to press the free ones. Yes. So you, you get to claim it. It's, it's, it's part of, it's like, you just have to see what's happening. Mm -hmm. And then I, I talk to the chat, uh, the game chat, okay. the in-game chat. Got because you. the morning it was the phone chat. And then after that, the in-game okay. chat. So gotcha. you just see who's there and who's mm -hmm. what's, what's happening. And then I do my work. When I do my work, Normally, I go to my meetings and I check my email on the road when it's traffic. And then it's all meetings from there. Oh, my <laughs> meetings goodness. Meetings and uh, uh, business planning and uh, more meetings and more <laughs> meetings. Okay. Sometimes uh, at night when I go to bed, mm -hmm. I just fell asleep very fast. Yeah. I have no problem sleeping because oh, I'm, I'm tired always. Huh. So when I go to bed, I'm a, a fast sleeper. Okay. Do you usually, how many hours of sleep do you get, do you think? Oh, I think I get six to seven hours. Okay, But That's I think I, I, I would like to sleep more. Because, yes. Because I think I would like to have an eight hour sleep, which is healthy, mm -hmm. but it's very seldom. Now, how many hours a day do you think you work? Oh. I don't really consider work as this is work and this is not work. Okay. I think my life is like what I do. It's all part of work because work is to improve myself socially, mm -hmm. to improve myself mentally, to 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 exercise is also part of work. To to eat properly is also part of me improving myself. So it's also work. So okay. I really don't consider it as work. Work. I just consider improving myself that's a really cool way to look at it because i think a lot of us look at it as okay i go to work from this time and i leave at this time and everything outside that is not work so it's kind of interesting to flip your mind yeah to think because like once that. you think of that mm -hmm. then if you don't like what you're doing and you will hate your work you will hate something that you're you don't you don't like yes and i think it's better like you see your work as yourself Okay. And if there's something you don't like, then you have, you can easily change it because your main is yourself. It's not the work. Okay. Interesting. And then you said you throw exercise in there and you played basketball yesterday, right? Yes, I did. Oh, very fun. I think there's a lot of people out there that play basketball. Yeah, yeah it's just well. with, with legs and I just do squat when I exercise okay. because legs is important. You then, don't skip leg day. Yeah, then it's okay. <laughs> Good. All right. So now, do you have any favorite quotes that you could share with us? Quotes. I think the one I shared before, the one that okay. you master things is okay. There's a, a lot of quotes uh, that is that's very wise and very smart. And I think uh, aside from just asking me the quotes, I think I better suggest that early morning, uh, just play a YouTube of any inspirational oh, or Gold Coast or okay. something before you start your day. It would change you mentally. For that okay. day, you will feel good. You ah, will feel good. You okay. will feel you will have energy to do all your stuff. Just listen to any inspirational three minute, four minute video. Okay. Every day. Do you watch the same videos multiple times, or do you try to find new ones to watch? I always try to find new ones. Okay. And I think time now, there is always content on new ones. I think uh, if you watch old ones, it's over. It's all right as yeah. long as. You get the feeling of energy that the uh, the purpose of it, but I think new ones also, so you get uh, fresher ideas. Okay, interesting. I think that's good advice for everybody out there because that's something I think a lot of us don't do. 
that you, would help you should, us. You should try it. Every, I'm gonna try. Everyone, you should try it. Just just when you wake up, start your day, listen to something inspiring, and then uh, you see it. It will it would change your day to a to a better, better energy. I think that's a good idea because definitely a lot of us. I think sometimes we wake up and you don't want to get out of bed. You just want to sleep in and relax. So maybe that's a good way to start it rather than getting up and getting ready and working. Yeah. All right. So next question for you. What have been some of failures that you've run into in life or in business, and how did you overcome them? Well, that's just that, just this year. I think there are some businesses that I that didn't uh, that didn't run. Okay. That we it was at loss, so I I was forced to uh, re- reevaluate the business and hire new people to 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 manage it. So I don't think it's a failure per se okay it's like it's the process and it's not working it's not successful so i will think of a way how to improve it so even in relationship with people there's Mm -hmm. some things that i want and then it won't happen and i could say that it's a failure for that moment only but i'm not really saying that it's a failure and period okay so I'm, i'm thinking of how to improve it how to how to enhance it and how to move on from there of course there are businesses and their relationship there's a complete fail but you just take the lessons from it okay why why it has to end and maybe in the future uh these things will help you be smarter wiser Mm -hmm. and more experienced again because you're improving yourself so all this experience you just have to go through them. Gotcha. So in life, everyone, if you feel like doing something, don't be scared. Just do it. And then there are a lot of people, your relatives, your family, your friends can help you. Go ask to them. Go ask to the people who are older than you, have more experience than you. And then you will learn from it. And don't be afraid because there's a lot of things we should learn in our world. And you be happy and amazed that you tried it like for example philippines like i'm sure philippines. the first time you're gonna go here yeah. i'm sure <laughs> you and josh are afraid right yeah uh, it's but, scary of but course but once you tried it and once you experience it it's it's like a different thing yeah but it's of a course, whole new world of course you have to be careful also because there's a lot of dangerous stuff in the world and those are real danger but just get informed and try new stuff Good advice. All right, so now kind of the opposite of that question. What's been one of the most satisfying moments that you've had in business? Well, uh, to all my partners that are successful and are fruitful and we're reaping the rewards, those are things that are satisfying. But that's like, that's not all also. Mm-hmm. Because some, I think in life, you have to look for challenges also. Because if you live a life where you don't face challenges, you live a life that, that's just easy and mm-hmm. just you're relaxed and then getting the fruits of the, the, the harvest. And then I think eventually, eventually, you're not doing your homework. Yeah. You're not doing something that will make you wiser or make you a better person. You're just like retired if you're Mm -hmm. retired maybe like for example 60 70 years old you want to retire because you feel like you need to enjoy then that's maybe the phase where you're just relaxing but i think for our age and for people who are young i think we should welcome challenges and we should be happy we have challenges in fact if you don't have challenges i suggest you look for challenges Ah. like oh hey there's no no threat now so yep. maybe i will look for challenges that i would like to overcome okay. and this will make muscles for for me or make bones stronger for me okay good advice is there any outside companies or businesses that you kind of admire of course i admire uh, not uh, companies or businesses particular Mm -hmm. i admire people who for example who made the ripple currency okay and after four years he's like being uh shoot up for for his success and uh i think there's a lot of 
people if you well well read and mm-hmm. well connected that having good time because they get the fruits of their hard work okay and it's not really a competition of who's top and yeah. who's 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 richer or who's all all these numbers are just uh, in a time frame where now you're richer than me and tomorrow he's richer than you <laughs> and it's just like that but every time I tell to people the young people will always beat the old people <laughs> the young people the young people because they got time to to study they got mm-hmm. time to talk to more people they will always beat the, the older people but it's again it's not a competition it's not that mm-hmm. I don't want to get beaten it's not like that we as a humanity should be teaching people teaching younger people and we should be happy that the young people are beating us or the young <laughs> people will get ahead of us right mm-hmm. because it means we have progress and I think it's it's, it's good so to me all we have to do is the one because you're asking if there's a success business that I admire and I'd, I'd, I admire all people that are successful I read about them Jack Ma and uh, all those successful people but again we don't compare we just mm-hmm. see ourselves look at yourself and check how we should uh, improve ourselves without comparing also okay. or maybe you compare but in a healthy way okay that, that why is sense. he doing this and his progress is faster then you should do something also that your progress is faster but I'm telling you about progress it's not an easy road you will fail you'll get hurt you will get wounded but it's okay that's life then you move forward that's how you get strong so speaking of progress where do you kind of see yourself in five years from now and in ten years from now actually five years to ten years I don't see myself visually like specifically okay I'm more like day-to-day or month-to-month or yearly improvement but now that you ask that I think five to ten years I should have businesses with more countries outside okay okay I think I should ask for help later okay <laughs> for about it all right maybe you you remind me to 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 announce something that uh, would help me my on my dreams deal okay. so kind of going back to that previous question you were talking about how young people should be kind of beating us a little bit or they should be progressing more what advice could you give to young entrepreneurs oh aside from not uh not to be afraid of the challenges Mm -hmm. of course there should be guidelines now which is uh, that's a good question actually that i'm sure this would help a lot of people a lot of young people who will start okay always have a plan always have a business plan a financial plan because it's like constructing a building or a house you have to have a blueprint Mm -hmm. so you know if you're doing the step one the step two right and if you're a new newbie or new new to the business uh, get consultants get advice from people who have done it and I'm sure they'll be happy to help I mean there's we have a big world and I'm very I very be, I believe that mm-hmm. our world is is good at heart and we like to help people so ask people for a plan or ask people for advice and maybe make them part of it I mean if I were the young person who would make a business and I see a person who have done it mm-hmm. I would probably say uh, we have a good world maybe help me and you be part of this business also okay. and we can help together I'm sure a lot of people who are wiser but don't have the energy and the time to do new business would like to give advice also as long as they're part of it it's like you're being part of something bigger than yourself for example if me and then I would be asked to be part of something that has that will seed to a new new business I would be happy also of course if if it's uh, it's what the business stands for is I believe it's what stands for okay So where do you find kind of ideas or inspiration for new business ideas? I think from friends and of course from reading what's the trend. For example, if there's a 3D 
printing trend or oh, uh, AI yeah. programming, then you get to start, hey, where's the people who, who do 3D? I got to talk to them. Maybe we could do opportunities. Of course, opportunities comes from the new development, new advancement. So, so the, the, what the young people, they can read more. Mm -hmm. They have more time to learn in school because the school teaches new things. I, I hope so, uh, in, in, in the first world country. So they're the one who can uh, experience or try the new things. Okay. And the old establishment, the old companies, because the organizations are big, normally they don't want to try new things because it's harder, mm -hmm. but they're more firm. But that's just the way the world works. Okay. So the new things comes from the schools and the, and the first world country who develop things. Okay. You just have to read them. Okay, so speaking of new ideas, do you want to take a moment now to kind of share with our young entrepreneurs out there uh, what you kind of have in mind for them? Oh, yeah. I think to the young people who, who would like to make business in your country but you lack fun funding, uh, maybe you can contact me or contact Dina for, mm -hmm. for an email and, and your pitch on what the business is. And maybe I would like to help you if it's a good it's a good plan then uh, I'll go do business with you okay in your country yeah. okay and if it's, if it's a bad plan then maybe I could change or give questions throw at you so you could answer it so we, you could polish the plan uh, then we could start the business so you have a more chance of success okay so again to all people who who have a business idea who are sure make your business plan make your financial plan then you could email it to me or you could email it to dina we could check on it and maybe if it's good or we like the idea we could start your business together with me my my association my my group my friends my family we will start this business we will help help you be successful also in your business of course together and we'll link below contact information. So if you guys want to do that, you have an idea, you can reach out to myself or Bren. So put contact information below, as well as all the social media for Bren Chong. So you can make sure that you follow him on Twitter, as well as my social media. So you have multiple ways to contact me if you want to get in touch with Bren as well. And also Synergy 88 is Bren's company. They work on tons of games and different apps. So I'll link some of those different apps below if you want to see what Bren's been working on. And you can kind of keep up with him a little bit. And Anything else that you want to share before we sign off? Yeah, and to those uh, older, wiser people, mm -hmm. I think uh, always teach, teach young people, mm -hmm. and teach young people as often as you can teach good things. And these people who you taught, you, you teach, they will look up to you and you would feel uh, happier because the world will be, is becoming better for the children all right well Brent Chong thank you so much for being here this is our second interview if you missed our first interview then I will also link that below so you can see what we talked about just about a year and a half ago so you can catch up with us back then versus now so make sure if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and we'll talk to you guys later bye everybody all right bye 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 bye